Okay, YouTube viewers and subscribers, here is the sad scene of my Magnum FT160 engine with this nice hole blown in the crankcase. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to disassemble this thing to the minimum amount required to at least uh, get to the see what the internal condition is like in here. Okay, I want to stop right here for a second now. I have not rotated this through at all since I've taken it off the stand, and nor do I intend to really, because um, I'm not really sure what the condition of that, the internals are there. We should know here when we pop this head off a little bit more. Okay, so the way this stopped, I don't expect to see any damage to the piston head or the valves here, which I'm not seeing. I didn't expect that. So everything here looks nice, nice and good. Down here is where we're going to start to see some issues. Um, I need to get these both to the same point though. Okay, so now we're to a point where this is going to start getting pretty interesting. This is where we're going to start seeing some damage here. Okay, so our first little bit of evidence here is looks like let me move this out of the way here it looks like the end cap came off of the connecting rod so whether it broke looks like that head this screw is sheared here this one is still in place but it's bent seriously so it looks like maybe what gave way was the head If we can get that other part out of here now. Okay, there's the bottom of the connecting rod. So let me get my magnifier on here real quick. So what looks like happened is it looks like catastrophic failure of the screws on the end of the connecting rod. Looks like this screw, I don't know what hat came first, which is the chicken or the egg, whether the head sheared off this first or if this screw sheared right there because the head's missing from this screw and this screw is sheared in half and half of it's still in the bottom of this connecting rod so either way connecting rod was a source of failure on this see the other connecting rod is still in place Honestly, I don't feel any bearing issues at all. Let me get a little bit long, stronger flashlight here. Look down in there and see if there's any other damage. You know, I don't see any other damage at all. A new crankcase and connecting rod with screws and end cap is probably all this engine really needs. 
obviously would need to be completely disassembled to do those things but that's what it looks like it looks like uh, basically what I've read heard about for some of these uh, OS first generation 120 engines and I guess a couple of people have commented that maybe they've heard about this on Magnum and ASB engines too that that connecting rod is completely bent too. Look at that damn thing. That's that's pretty rough. So we got a <laughs> completely destroyed connecting rod and I think the root cause from what I'm seeing here is a fastener failure. <clears throat> Either the head of one screw or this other screw shearing um, and then the other part came with it but either way it's a connecting rod that failed it doesn't look like it did damage to anything else in this engine other than the connecting rod and uh, bearings feel fine I mean other than that this engine is in decent shape and there's plenty of oil in here so it's not like and I had this laying in my in its box like this and there was all kinds of oil in the box that drained out of it so it wasn't a lack of lubrication by any means because there's nothing in here that's dry everything in here is very oily and still well lubed so this is not in my estimation not a result of a lean run at all this is just a typical or I'll say typical because I've heard of several instances of this this is a Connecting rod failure, plain and simple. That's what that is. So there's your, what I'm calling the root cause of this. Now I was the last person that assembled this engine. I put new bearings in this and did all this and I torqued these things. Everything was done as right as I know how to make it. So this is uh, maybe one of these things where you say it's a inferior metallurgy or just a material failure but that's the bottom line is what it is is a connecting rod failure of the fasteners the screws holding the connecting rod in place failed it looks like a screw head or a screw sheared so that's their post-mortem of this Magnum FT 160 disaster strikes engine